Hi guys, today there is something interesting and exciting I wanna show you. So this thing is probably third addition to my um, uh, set of, or sorry, collection uh, of sensor tags. So this is Broad, Broadcom Sense Kit, so or Sense Tag. Yeah, it turned out to be Broadcom actually made something similar uh, like other um, sans uh, tag pack or kits I have uh, shown you guys before. So yeah, I just got it like today from uh, Moser Electronics. Uh, I couldn't find anywhere else you can buy this thing, so I was really happy to uh, get it. And shipping was amazingly fast. And you know what's amazing about this? It cost 28 Canadian dollars. I'm not sure how good it is, I just got it, but I think for 28 Canadian dollars in comparison to other sensor packs and sensor tags for like 43-ish is pretty good bang for the back. So uh, what you see here is essentially what it is. So it's a Broadcom uh, Bluetooth for Elite chip. It has a gyroscope, accelerometer, compass, barometer, humidity and temperature sensor. Amazing, amazing. It's pretty. Uh, one thing with probably missing here, I would like to have is a light sensor. But hey, whatever. Even for this, that's already a lot for the for the money. So let's uh, take a look closer what we have. Very nice box. I like it a lot. This is how it looks uh, on. Uh, okay, let's remove this back from here. Uh, how it looks like at the front. So obviously I uh, haven't opened it yet, uh, so this is going to be like unboxing and first impression video and we try to connect this thing to the phone. Alright, so yeah, I have to peel those stickers or something, somebody already tried to peel it. I have no nail, okay, well I have no nail so I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna use something more destructive. I'm gonna use this. I shouldn't have open. Didn't have to really open it on both sides. Okay, I don't really like this kind of boxes. Okay, come out. Oh, that's so cute. Take a look at this. It's uh, I like it a lot actually. It's pretty neat. Looks pretty awesome. Very cute. Uh, it's red on one side, black on another side. This is the compartment for um, CR2030 battery. Is it coming with it? Ah, okay. Two buttons over here and that's pretty much it and USB port uh, those openings probably for the humidity and temperature sensor oh, over here or these might be oh both sides all right it's, uh, that's pretty cool let's walk a battery and where's the battery okay battery is not here Let's use another battery to open this comp. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's put battery in. Lock this back in. Use another coin battery to lock it. Oh, I didn't even lock it properly yet. That'll be fine. It's blinking. Okay, well, it's blinking. That means it's alive. Let's read this mega manual and see what it's what it says. I oh I hope they have Android app. <laughs> Guys, this is kind of not even funny. Uh,
They don't have Android app apparently. Okay, let me search in Android app store. Sorry, play store. Maybe there is something in it. Oh no, wait, it's here. I didn't say anything about it. Well, I don't know if it's this Broadcom. Okay. Why is it sense? Guys, you scared me for a second there. It's not like I'm anti uh, anti iOS guy, I just don't have any device like that. I have to, you know, go and borrow from, yeah, from someone for this review. Alright. It's installed. Of course I accept. Uh, why I have two? Okay, this doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. Okay, I figured it out. It looks like there was a two, those two other, some kind of other Bluetooth devices, and uh, this is the guy. Maybe some neighbors or some maybe other phones I have here, like Blackberry, Passport. Connect. Oh my god, this thing even produced some sound. So, that's supposed to mean. Um, <laughs> rare update. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, well, guys. Uh, okay, let's do. Fear. I'll do. I'll do. Enable to upload the firmware. Yeah, it looks like there'll be some troubleshooting going on here. Um, I'll do jump cut if this is gonna be long and boring procedure. Let me read maybe. Yeah, it doesn't say much. It's a very simple procedure. You just connect and it should work. Okay, it's doing something. And it's doing it pretty quick. Okay, let's wait a minute. Maybe less than a minute. That's pretty cool. Firmware update. Over the air firmware update, love those kind of things. Pretty cool. Are we connected? Are we connected? Connect. Please show me something. Show me something, my friend. Yeah, it's not really cooperating right now. Yay, we're in. All right, we have accelerometer here. We have compass over here. Which is kind of weird. North is actually completely different. Like north is like that way for me. That's weird. Oh wait, yeah, I have to orient this thing. Yes, that's right. <laughs> As device goes. Yeah, that's that's true. That's actually showing fine. Okay, well, compass is working. Gyroscope. Yeah, it's working. 
Cool. I love it. Temperature, pressure, humidity. Actually, I think humidity is a little bit lower than that. Um, pressure is fine. Temperature. Oh, it's Fahrenheit. Oh, jeez. I have to change this. Yeah, 83. I have no idea how much is that. I mean, I have idea. I just, you know, it's harder. I have to convert it in my mind every time Fahrenheit to Celsius. Awesome. It actually works very well. And uh, yeah, it has all pretty cool features in it. And in, like what's what's great about it? It's a very nice package, and it looks like a keychain, th like a key fob, like my car key fob, about the same. Or actually, it is the same size. So if you compare, for example, with uh, I don't have the whole sensor tag here. So this is how TI sensor tag um, kind of rubber enclosure look like. You know, slightly smaller, and the same concept. There is a like keychain uh, ear over here. So. Yeah, this one looks really, really cool. I like it. Shall we do a tear down of this thing to get in and see what it looks like? Of course we should. Okay, phone. You don't need you anymore. Yes. All right, let's get in. So first of all, we probably have to turn it off. I'm not sure if it has... Okay, well, that's... That solves the problem. Shut down. Okay, I don't really see any kind of screws or anything, so I assume this thing just should just pop up. Okay. I don't wanna break this nice cute case. So how do you come apart, my friend? I just hope they didn't seal it of any kind anyhow sorry or glue it not seal it they want to push on pcb as well okay let me refocus here do manual focus Okay, I will job cut here and I'll try to figure out um, or actually just stop the video here and try to disassemble it and see where it, go, where it goes from here. Okay, I think I figured out how to get in. So, essentially you have to use this old hole over here and just push. And one more time. Just push. Oops. Okay, here we are. We are in. Screwdriver, go away. Ta-da! Didn't break anything. Nice. Okay, focus again. Look at this. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. So I'll be. Uh, I'll provide high-res pictures of. Um, well, there is a little button over here, which is not part of the um, I guess reset button of some sort. <laughs> it's not, yeah, you, you don't have it uh, outside here. It's great. Yeah, I will figure out what are those chips are and I will give it the explanation. I believe Bluetooth chip is on the other side. Because Bluetooth chip for Broadcom is a pretty big beast, as far as I remember. Okay, let me put this thing on and focus on it. Okay, now we can do everything on the table. We have to, and we will continue opening this thing up. Little teeny tiny screws here. Okay, what else? Nice. Here's the money shot, I guess, right? 
another side and this is our friend Broadcom Bluetooth chip what well, it's supposed to be some sort of oh little little speaker here and another button like lots of buttons everywhere huh that's cool oh look at oh my god look what I found SCL SDA you know what guys that mean I square C in or out I don't know I mean I square C interface in and out what I'm talking about that's pretty cool a ground 3.3 .3 volts does it have it would be amazing if it has a regulator well because it runs on 3 volts but maybe it's 3.3 .3 volt to tolerable or it has a regulator in order to actually make 3 volts out of 3.3 .3. even better oh definitely it has a regulator because it has USB stuff here yeah that's pretty awesome it's actually pretty good that it has USB because I bet that's where how you can pro program it and one of those cheats may be just a like a Bluetooth uh, sorry USB interface to program access uh, and program this thing maybe even debugging um, output that's pretty nice I have no idea how uh, what kind of software uh, to do to use uh, with Broadcom like uh, I'm completely not familiar with Broadcom like software and whatever tools they use tool chain I meant to say uh, so that would be like another learning curve for me I still I do to uh, uh, make video for sensor pack which I have to again figure out this the tooling as well <laughs> but uh, this is pretty 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 uh, pretty pretty uh, sensor tag or sensor kit uh, it, it called sense tag Oh my god, like I, I start mixing up all this sensor thingies. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Okay, so uh, here we have it. So we have a uh, first impression, uh, sorry, we have uh, unboxing, first impression, connection, and teardown of a Broadcom Wise Sense sensor tag. So, guys, if you like this video, please um, like and then subscribe. If you like my other videos, please support my channel. And all detailed photos of the sensor tech and some technical information I'll provide down below with the link to my um, blog. Thank you and bye-bye.